If after this video you're still getting trapped in a choppy, ringy market, then I don't know. Alright beautiful people, welcome back. If you're new here, hello, welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're notified whenever I post a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a super simple way to avoid choppy ranging markets. All you got to do is go right here to indicators and type A, D, X. Okay, average directional index. Add that to your chart. And then I'm going to go here to horizontal line and drop that on the ADX. I mean, I have people who rather have their horizontal line on the 30 level, like right here, look to the right, on the 30 level, see it? And some would rather have it on the 20 or 22, 20 area, but personally, I prefer the 30 level. So I'm going to leave mine on like so. Perfect. Now, when you see the ADX below the 30 level, we try to stay away from the market. Okay, I'm going to find a... Okay, right here we have a perfect example. I'm going to grab my tool. All of this right here, all of it. This is all consolidation area, okay? We have consolidation happening right here. You look down to your ADX, you see what's going on? It's all below the 30 level, okay? The reason I like the 30 level is because it kind of help you avoid getting into the range at all, okay? I mean, if you move your horizontal line down to the 20 level, um, quite a lot of times you might get trapped or sucked into it, okay? But usually when I have it like on the 30 level, like so, it kind of help you to avoid getting trapped. You see how we have from here, the market is going up, and as soon as it gets to the 30 level, look down to the ADX, you can see you are getting out of the market. And as soon as that happens, you are out of the market and you avoided this choppy move. We keep scrolling to the right. Again, we have an ADX above the 30 level. And you see how the market moves smoothly. And now the ADX is below the 30 level or below the horizontal line at the 30 level. And what happened is started consolidating again and you saved yourself from that headache. Let's keep going. Ooh, that's a big move. See right here, even at the top, the market is consolidating, slightly ranging here and, you know, trying to build a structure and whatever, but we do not want to get in to a market at this point or if we already took like a buy coming all the way from down here upwards, we do not want to get trapped in this. Probably you're trying to go to bed or you're leaving the house. You want to go shopping or whatever you're trying to do. You don't want to get trapped in a market like this. What if it's a 15 minute time frame and then you find yourself in a, you know, a ranging market like so. You do not want to find yourself like that. So ADX saved you. Okay. ADX saved you from that, you know, unnecessary anxiety. ADX is below the 30 horizontal line right here. So you stay away from the market. Play around with it. You could use the 30, you could use the 22, you could, you could use the 20 level, whichever you like. Just play around with the horizontal line and see how you would rather place your horizontal line i hope this video was helpful it's super simple it's super clear go to your indicators look for adx add that to your chart 
take your horizontal line place that at the 20 30 22 whichever level even 25 i have people who would rather have their horizontal line at the 25 level place it wherever you want but personally i prefer the 30 level because i do not want to get trapped in a topping market i do not so in that way you can avoid getting into the trap or quickly getting out of the trap and that's it guys if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up it helps with the youtube algorithm if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Thank you.